Hey guys, it's PX Abuse here. So uh, I'm gonna start doing tutorials every Monday. I know this is uh, Thursday, but I'm gonna do them every. Try to do them every Monday. So today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to add depth to a 2D picture or text in Photoshop. And so you can see here, this is my example. Uh, this is dinosaur head, and it looks like he's holding and trying to eat this text uh, that says abuse, and it looks really good, I think. So let's get into the tutorial. So you just want to create a new file. Now, sorry for the noise in the background. Noise in the background. That's my sister. So 1280 by 720, and you know you can use uh, use a light gray, A9, A9, A9. So I'm just you can see what that is, and you just want to you know fill your canvas, and you can drag your text. This is just some simple text I made. You can make your own in Cinema 4D or whatever. Scale it up. Just you want to scale it up so it's like it fits the page nicely. You know, you can add a drop shadow if you like. I mean, it really it's all up to personal preference. Like that looks pretty. I mean, not not great, but it's decent. Add a gradient overlay. I mean, you don't have to. If you feel like it, you can. I like to drop the opacity down on mine. So let's get into really what this tutorial is about. So I like to start with a claw. So you can grab the claw and you can drag it onto your canvas. And obviously that's really big, so you just want to zoom out a little bit and scale it down till it looks, you know, whatever you think looks the best. Just drag it on. And the rule I like to do when I'm using this technique is if there's claws or talons or whatever, I want to make sure all of it, all the talons, you know, are on the side of the text. So like, see there, there, and I just want to maybe scale this down a little bit more position it, maybe rotate it a little bit, and yeah, actually that looks pretty good, so uh, the way I do it, you drag this behind your text, and you duplicate it, Command J or Alt J, you bring your second layer over top, and you want to go to your eraser tool, and it's, uh, it's on 21 right now, but and you want to grab a hard brush, you go down to about 12, 13, you know, somewhere in the teens, and you just want to kind of erase around the parts that you don't want to be on the text. So basically the talents. Obviously I'm going really quick here, not making this look, you know, the best it could. And just, you know, for the sake of time. And you kind of get the picture. I mean it looks really good I think. Like it's probably one of the most underused and little known uh, effects. So if you zoom out to 100% it looks like it's grabbing the text, but there's not really anything else. So, I mean, I'm not going to do the other side. I mean, it's pretty much the same thing. You just flip it. So you're going to go back. Obvious oh, and also I'm going to put this file in the description. So you want to grab your head and you want to drag it on to your text. And again, it's huge, so you want to scale it down and rotate it. And make sure it's, you know, a good ratio to the claw. And again, you want to have the teeth um, sort of, you know, coming over and I like to have it you know sort of positioned near the middle of your text and so that in my case is the U. So again you want to duplicate it and drag one layer behind the text. Now since this is bigger you want to grab your eraser and you want to scale it up a little bit. I mean you can do it small I guess if you really want to but it probably won't be as good and I made a mistake right there. I was on the wrong layer. So let me just delete that and do that again. Sorry about that, guys. I'm sorry for that. It's my sister. And you want to go to your top layer, and you just want to. Oops, that's that's a little big. And you, just, you know, 70, 80. That's probably the best. And you want to just get rid of the middle stuff. I like the way I did it. Oops. Oops, that's a little much. Um, so I like to have it coming around the U. So sort of like that. You want to just get the basic shape with your eraser. And you can go in later after and you can bring that down and you can just go in a little finer. Obviously if you're good with the pen tool you can do it with the pen tool. Uh, again, I'm going really quick here. Like, you know, this looks 
piss poor, obviously. And again, you want to bring it around the U. And, you know, I'm going super quick. Like, this looks bad. I was hell, but, you know, that's basically how you do it. And if I grab a pen tool, I'm going to go quickly here in the interest of time. You know, it's just like super quick. Like, it doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, like, you got CCs on there, it'll cover it up. It's not a problem. But you just want to make sure you basically get most of the parts that you don't want. Sorry again for my sister, she's being like ridiculously loud right now. Okay, so obviously I'm going a little bit fast on the pen tool. That's just because I don't want this tutorial be, to be longer than like six minutes. And so, okay, so I'm going to bring it around this side because if you go underneath, or I mean not underneath, sorry, if you go sort of like um, this way, it'll delete all of that. And so you just want to bring it around. Uh, yeah, that's, that's going to be good. And make selection. Select layer, inverse, delete. And uh, it'll look a lot better if you just take your time and go for it. But that's basically the effect. Thanks for watching, guys. And um, if you like this, you can give a like, I guess. And if you want to see more tutorials, uh, just give me suggestions. And I'll, I'll be coming out with them every Monday, like I said. And uh, if you have suggestions for how I can improve, you can you know do that too. So thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. This has been PX Abuse.